Russia's President Vladimir Putin on Wednesday hosted China's Xi Jinping, India's Narendra Modi and other world leaders at a summit of the BRICS bloc of developing economies, part of Kremlin efforts to challenge Western global clout. The three-day meeting in the city of Kazan, attended by 36 countries, showcased the failure of the US-led efforts to isolate Russia over its actions in Ukraine. The Kremlin touted the summit as the largest foreign policy event ever held by Russia. The alliance that initially included Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa has expanded to embrace Iran, Egypt, Ethiopia, the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia. Turkey, Azerbaijan and Malaysia have formally applied to become members, and several others have expressed interest in joining. The Kremlin has cast BRICS as a counterbalance to the Western-dominated global order and redoubled its efforts to court the countries of the global south after sending troops into Ukraine in February 2022. Russia has specifically pushed for the creation of a new payment system that would offer an alternative to the global bank messaging network SWIFT and allow Moscow to dodge Western sanctions and trade with partners. Speaking at the start of Wednesday's BRICS meeting, Putin named the deepening of cooperation in financial sector as part of its agenda. He said that the participants were also set to discuss a range of international issues, including the settlement of regional conflicts, along with BRICS expansion. BRICS strategy in course on the global arena conforms with the strivings of the main part of the global community, the so-called global majority, Putin said. Putin, who is set to hold more than a dozen bilateral meetings on the sidelines, conferred with Xi, Modi and South African President Cyril Ramaphosa on Tuesday ahead of the summit's opening. On Thursday, Putin is also set to meet with United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres, who will be making his first visit to Russia in more than two years. Guterres has repeatedly criticized Russia's actions in Ukraine. Друзья, искренне рад религии, самобытные цивилизации и культуры. Все наши государства выступают за равенство, добрососедство и взаимное уважение. 16-й саммит БРИКС, который впервые проходит... Обсудим и выполнение двух важных решений предыдущего саммита в Йоханнесбурге. Во-первых, имеется в виду углубление финансового взаимодействия в рамках БРИКС. Другой, не менее важный вопрос – о дальнейшем расширении нашего объединения. Безусловно, игнорировать беспрецедентный интерес стран глобального Юга и Востока к укреплению контактов с БРИКС было бы неправильно. В той или иной форме такое стремление выразили уже более 30 государств. При этом необходимо выдержать баланс и не допустить снижения эффективности БРИКС. В Йоханнесбурге мы условия не на словах, а на деле проявляют ответственность за будущее мира, оказывают действительно позитивное влияние на положение дел в сфере глобальной стабильности и безопасности, вносят весомый вклад в решение острых региональных проблем. В этом суть стратегии курса БРИКС на глобальной арене, отвечающего чаянием основной части международного сообщества, так называемого мирового большинства. И именно такой курс особенно востребован в нынешних условиях, когда в мире происходят поистине кардинальные изменения. Плавную и максимально полную интеграцию новых стран-участниц в работу. The leaders of India, 
South Africa and China arrived in the Russian city of Kazan on Tuesday for a meeting of the BRICS bloc of developing economies, defying predictions that the war in Ukraine and an international arrest warrant would turn Russia's President Vladimir Putin into a pariah. China's Xi Jinping, India's Narendra Modi and South Africa's President Cyril Ramaphosa were greeted by an honor guard and platters of Russian delicacies when they touched down at Kazan's airport. The BRICS alliance, which aims to counterbalance the Western-led world order, initially included Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa but is expanding rapidly. Iran, Egypt, Ethiopia, the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia joined in January, Turkey, Azerbaijan and Malaysia formally applied, and a number of others have expressed a desire to be members.